Hello, my dear students. In the last class, we have already discussed about quantum dots and its applications. Today, we are discussing about nano electronics. We know nanotechnology is the study of manipulating matter on an atomic scale. Nanotechnology refers to the constructing and engineering of the functional systems at very micro level or we can say at atomic level. We have already learned that nanomaterials are entirely different from bulk materials. Then what makes the nanoscale special? High density of structures is possible with small size. Moreover, physical and chemical properties can be different at the nano scale. For example, it is electronic properties, optical properties, mechanical properties, thermal properties, chemical properties are entirely different from bulk material. The physical behavior of material can be different in the nano regime because of the different ways physical properties scale with dimension. For example, area versus volume. In the present day world, it is the world of electronics that provides us with light at night, enable us to watch news and films on TV, opens up a way to run complex machines including computers. If all these things could be driven by nanotechnology, there is every possibility for a tremendous improvement in their efficiency and a corresponding lowering of the cost at which they operate. Nanotechnology is the miniaturization of semiconductor electronics to the nano level. That is a replacement of the present microelectronic stage by a stage controlled by nanosystems. We know today microelectronics are used and they solve our most of the problems. The two exceptional disadvantages of microelectronics are physical size and increasing cost of fabrication of integrated circuits. To overcome these disadvantages, nanotechnology can be used. Nanoelectronics refer to the use of nanotechnology on electronic components, especially transistors. Nanoelectronics often refer to transistor devices that are so small that interatomic interactions and quantum mechanical properties need to be studied extensively. Besides being small and allowing more transistors to be packed into a single chip, the uniform and symmetrical structure of nanotubes allows a higher electron mobility, a higher dielectric constant and a symmetrical electron hole characteristics. Then what are the advantages of using nanotechnology in electronics? It increases the density of memory chips and also decreasing the weight and thickness of the screens. Nanolithography is used for fabrication of chips, reducing the size of transistors used in integrated circuits. Moreover, improving display screens on electronics devices and reducing power consumption. Do you know about graphene transistor? Graphene is a single sheet of carbon atom packed in a honeycomb crystal lattice isolated from graphite. It allows electrons to move at an extraordinarily high speed. With its intrinsic nature of being one atom thick, it can be exploited to fabricate field effect transistors that are faster and smaller. A single electron transistor needs only one electron to change from the insulating to the conducting state. It delivers very high device density and power efficiency with remarkable operational speed. Computer processing more slow describes a trend of technology. It states that the number of transistors that can be put on a single chip will double every two years. Because of nanotechnology, the speed of computers has increased while the price of computing has decreased. It displays carbon nanotubes on a glass or plastic sheet allow manufacturers to make clear conductive panels for displays that are extremely thin. When comparing memory and storage 
devices in 1980s and 2010. We have seen that the size and price of the device is reduced so much. In the 1980s, for a 2GB memory and storage device, the price is about $80,000. But in 1990s, for a 2GB memory and storage device, it was only $200. But in 2010, for a 2GB memory and storage device, it was only $5. Flexible electronics is a technology that allows you to build electronic circuits on flexible substrates, thus making them bendable and stretchable. Stretchable electronics or flexible electronics is likely to be the future of mobile electronics. Potential applications include wearable electronic devices, biomedical uses, compact portable devices, and robotic devices. In the future, it is likely that graphene will become a dominant material in flexible electronics. Graphene is nothing but an allotrope of carbon that has superb electrical conductivity, flexibility and physical strength. It was an example for wireless flexible circuit board with flexible sensors. Reducing the size of electronics is the need of era and this can be achieved with the help of molecules that can be used in active devices. These molecules behave as diodes or programmable switches that make connections between wires and consume less current. Thousands of molecules can be sandwiched between two crossing microscale wires to create an active devices. Since molecular devices fit between the wire, large area savings could be achieved. Today, we have discussed about nanoelectronics and its advantages over microelectronics. Thank you.